Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to check the resistance on your fuel pump wire. The first thing you have to do is look at a schematic of your fuel pump wire system to understand what you have to test. I know that this is the fuel pump relay. I know that this is the fuel pump fuse and the immobilizer fuse. Either one of these fuses is blown, you're not going to get power to your relay and it'll hurt your circuit. I know that the pink wire goes from this relay to the back of the car and that's what powers up the pump. The second wire that comes from the pump is the ground circuit. Our job today is to test this pink wire from the relay to the back of the car. When I pull the relay out of the car, I'm going to look for pin number 87. The pins are numbered on the bottom of most if not all relays. When I find pin 87, I'm going to stick my ohms probe in the pink wire and then the other probe in the back of the car to check the resistance in this wire. This is difficult to see on video, so I've made a short piece of wire that we'll pretend is our fuel circuit. If we ohm the circuit from the fuel pump to the relay, we should have continuity or no resistance. And our meter indicates that we have no resistance or continuity. That means that the circuit is good. If I had poor resistance, or no continuity, you would have a break in the circuit, or you could have a connector that's corroded, or possibly even a connection at the relay that's not making good continuity, and you'd have resistance. If you detect resistance in your fuel pump wire, you have to get to the bottom of it. The wire runs from the front of the car all the way to the back, and that's how to test your fuel pump wire for resistance. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.